Say My Name or The Ark. Say My Name. Say My Name. Oh. I'm <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. Oppenheimer or Barbie? Oh, definitely Barbie. I'm oh, wow. A... Yeah, definitely. What makes you laugh the most? Um, um probably my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Which superpower would you love to have? Oh my gosh, that's good. Maybe the invisible. Can you be invisible? So you can... Oh going on with not being there, I guess. Wow, wow, <laughs> yes, yes. That, that's uh, an excellent choice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Another one, did you have any favorite place in the U.S. inside? In the United, probably New York. Oh. That's my, yeah. I'm, I'm born and raised in New York and I love it so much and I miss it when I'm not there. And did you have a favorite place outside the U.S.? I actually love Mexico. Oh, what's your favorite food? Um, oh my goodness. Uh, probably sushi. Probably sushi. Oh. And did you have a place you would love to visit around the world? Uh, yeah. Yes. I, I actually have never been to the Caribbean. Like, oh. Um, Turks and Caicos and, and, and all of that, the Bahamas, I've never been there, so I would like to go there. Yeah. Um, okay. The Maldives, I've heard that oh. beautiful, it's just very, very far to get to. But one okay, day. Okay. Yes. Do you have a role model to look oh. up to? Oh my gosh, I think it changes. I, it, depending on what I'm going through in my life, it changes. Right now, I love so much. The woman who played my mother in my last movie, her name is Linda Lavin, and she's an incredible actress oh, and has a wonderful career. She's won Tony Awards and Golden Globe Awards and Emmy Awards, and she's just an awesome woman. And like, I want my career to be like hers. Do you want to participate in a specific project? Would you um, love to, to play some kind of character? Um, I would say if they're going to do a Shakespearean movie, I would love to do that. Oh, and it, okay, really, okay. it depends on who the director is, who the other actors are, you know, okay, okay. the script. Like I will do a tiny little script of like that no one's ever heard of anything if the work is good. It's all about the work and the writing to me. Do you have any favorite quote? Oh my goodness. I was thinking about that mm -hmm. and um, I would say, I don't know who said this, but what has meant a lot to me in my life is feel fear, feel the fear and do it anyway. Like, oh, okay. If you're scared about doing something, it's like, oh my God, I'm too scared. Like, just feel it, but do it anyway. Okay. Because when you lead to the most growth in your life, because otherwise this fear holds us back from doing great things. So. It doesn't feel good, but feel the fear and do it anyway. Wow. Um, and do you have a favorite book? As I said, I love Shakespeare. Oh. So, yes, I, I'm more, I read a lot of plays. So, yeah, that's been my world right now. Reading screenplays, writing, that's my world right okay. now. Okay. Okay. Do you have actually any favorite song and movie? First, the song. <laughs> Song. I, I'm very into Taylor Swift at the <laughs> moment. <laughs> and, uh, Excellent. I, I, we went to the concert, and so right now I'm listening to all of her music. Wow. I also love Go Girls. I love Brandy Carlisle. Um, so I think anything of Brandy Carlisle I love. And okay, okay. Did you say favorite movie? What was the other thing you asked me? Um, yes, movie. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so many. <laughs> I saw Saltburn recently and that was very... I have to watch it. Oh my gosh. Yes? It's very disturbing, oh. but it's it's very good. It's just very disturbing. But yeah. <laughs> I warn you. Okay. <laughs> just thank you. Thank you so much for giving me this, this advice, this warning. Do you have a message to to another actress you would love to share with us, or tips maybe? Yeah, I 
I think it's taken me a long time to realize that when you want to act, you have to start creating your own projects because okay. it's very hard to be an actor and just wait for other people to make the decisions for you, whether you're good enough, whether you're pretty enough, whether you're not pretty enough, whether you're tall enough or short enough, there's things that are just out of your control. So it, I, it wasn't until I would say like maybe I, it, it was in my thirties that I realized if I want to do what I love, I have to just create it myself. Oh, okay. Okay. That's wow. what I, produce your own stuff, write your own stuff, and just empower yourself that way. Wow. Finally, how is one day of yours regularly? How is one day? Well, it, it depends if I'm working or not. If I'm oh, working, okay. I'm just crazy. Oh. You know, when I was doing my movie, it was, I was away in Utah waking up at 4.30 in the morning, coming back at 7.30 at night mm -hmm. and just starting that over. Um, but then another, like a regular day when I come home, mm -hmm. waking up 6 a.m., feeding my many, many dogs. <laughs> I have a lot of dogs. <laughs> um, you know, getting my girls up, giving them breakfast, taking them to school, you know, that, that kind of thing. Then writing for a few hours. And that's that's a typical it's a good day okay we already loving that man for the audience as well to know lisa brenner's regular day thank you so much muchas gracias <laughs> <Adios>. <laughs> muchas gracias <laughs> bye bye, bye.